Hello, everybody. Hopefully, you all can hear me. Uh, we have a very special day today. Welcome to the Katsu Q&A. Today's going to be a little bit different. I am going to bring in our special guest um, today, and let's see if I can get our Zoom figured out. We are joined today uh, by Robert. Um, let's see if Robert is there. Yes. Hello, Robert. Can you hear Hello, me? Chris. Yes, I can hear you, Chris. Great, great. So uh, just for our, our, as people are coming into the, the, the Q&A today, Robert, I'm going to play uh, just a short legacy video from Dr. Sato, which will set up our conversation. And uh, I appreciate your patience. So I'm going to play that now. And hopefully everyone will be able to hear. I've had some problems in the past with people hearing my computer. So uh, let's give this a try. Bear with me. Imagine being exposed to extremely cold weather. For example, when you go to a ski resort where you can experience 17 or 20 degrees Celsius below zero. In these conditions, your hands start getting numb, and you see how it gets harder to open your mouth and speak. It is because your capillaries are retracting. Naturally, as your peripheral nerves are also retracted, you lose the ability to move your fingers, and you are not able to speak clearly. However, when you take a warm bath afterwards, or go to hot springs, your capillaries dilate, will widen, and your blood circulation becomes much more efficient. So your hands and mouth that were stiff before are now able to move naturally and normally. This is just one of the significant Katsu outcomes. Even with a lack of movement, this Katsu phenomenon causes blood circulation through our veins. Next, I would like to talk about the importance of IGF-1, or insulin growth factor. When you train with katsu, a significant amount of growth hormones is produced. After that secretion, another hormone called IGF-1 is also produced. The amount of growth hormone usually peaks about 15 minutes after it begins secretion, and then, decreases almost to nothing after about an hour. However, after IGF-1 begins to be secreted, the amount is gradually reduced and still remains until the following day. Naturally, there is a much lower amount of IGF-1 the following day. As you might know, IGF-1 is an important hormone that is responsible for the support and building of bones, muscles, and internal organs. Also, it's very useful for glucose metabolism. In particular, IGF-1 is very much involved in the production of lung cells. That strengthens the immune system, making our bodies stronger. It is very common for the human body to be unable to take its last breath due to lung damage. By strengthening the lungs, more capillaries are generated in the lungs. Naturally, IGF-1 is also secreted in large amounts. In that respect, IGF-1 plays a very important role in our health. That IGF-1 is secreted in this simple cycle. There is nothing as amazing as this. I will address the importance of nitric oxide, or NO. This is what I would like to talk about. When you train with Katsu, 
Nitric oxide is released. Nitric oxide helps make up blood vessels, whole cells, and intravascular cells. Blood vessels are made of the inner wall, middle wall, and outer wall. The inner wall must be very elastic, right? Normally, as we get older, the inner wall becomes hardened, stiff, and loses its elasticity. Blood waste, blood clots, etc., can accumulate in the blood vessels, causing them to narrow and lead to various diseases. However, when you do concert training, the endothelial cells in the blood vessels increase. The vascular endothelial cells produce a significant amount of nitric oxide that is responsible for the elasticity of the vascular tissue. This is a research paper from when SARS epidemic was happening. It showed that by having a very high percentage of nitric oxide, the SARS virus was greatly suppressed. On the other hand, if the healthful elasticity of blood vessels is lost, health declines. Of course, there are other important parts of the body. But I think our blood vessels are the most important thing for our health. When the vascular elasticity is gone, the person is already degenerating or going in a bad direction. That's why I'd like you to make your blood vessels stronger. Katsu is the best way to do that. Let's build up a great amount of healthy blood vessels with vascular endothelial cells. All right, Robert. Thank what you happens for... when the prostate enlarges and the urine channel gets tight? If you have an enlarged prostate, do this 15 we second Japanese morning ritual to shrink it almost immediately. If you've been suffering from frequent One urges second. to pee, Sorry. a weak urine flow, or reduced drive in the bedroom for more than three months. All right. So, Robert, very excited to have you today. Thank you for joining us. Um, just a quick introduction. And again, really, really happy for all of you to listen in. Um, I met Robert several years ago. We actually met for the first time in Japan. And um, we, you know, we've both been on our journeys in, in the world of Katsu. But um, I just want to show, I've showed this book before, but Robert is the author of, of this very interesting book, um, Katsu, the, the Pressure Training from Japan. And Robert is a, a sports scientist from Germany. And uh, we've had some incredible discussions about Katsu. And I think really that video we just watched is sort of a, uh, you know, it's kind of a fun, fun video because it's translated from Japanese, right? And, and even at the end, it makes me smile every time I see Dr. Sato flex his muscle. But uh, really excited, Robert, to just kind of have a more of like a coffee talk with you today about, about Katsu. And then anyone who has questions, um, we, we ask you to put them in the chat. And if if I certainly can't answer it, I know Robert might be able to. And if not, you know, we always encourage people to send your questions to, to us at info at katsu.com. And I'll share that at the end. So we don't want to take all of Robert's valuable time. At the end of our discussion, I'll go over real quickly. Um, Robert, you can stay with us if you like. Uh, a lot of the people on this video, and we actually have 14 people today, uh, but it's more important the recording we have. People see we have our newest product, the, the B2, which I'll talk about. And I know Robert also is excited about this, our, our Bluetooth model. But Robert, um, I just wanted you to share a little bit uh, about your background, if you don't mind, just a, a quick, quick version. Yeah, uh, um, thank you for having me on the show. Uh, it's, a, it's a pleasure. <laughs> 
that we meet in this room together and uh, that I can share of uh, some of my experiences with you together. And um, yeah, um, I am a sports scientist from uh, Germany and I'm working on the uh, bridge between science and practice. So my job is to bring new uh, modalities to the coaches and athletes. And um, since I, I discovered Katsu um, at, the, at the beginning of the 2000s, I was, I was really uh, caught by this idea because this, the, the science journals always said, it's good, it's good, it's working, it's working, working. And um, I, I was really excited to get these uh, equipment in my hands, but it wasn't possible. So at the beginning of the 2000s, um, it wasn't possible for us all in the world to get this wonderful machines in your hand to benefit from this. And so I started to experiment um, <laughs> on myself, like maybe many of us, and like maybe Dr. Sato did. And um, I did all the mistakes and, uh, and pitfalls and blood and sweat that maybe uh, Dr. Sato uh, experienced. And um, I found myself that it doesn't work this way, or using all the straps and bicycle tubes and bands. Um, I, I had really serious health uh, issues and health problems with my immune system. It crushed down every time I, I started to do this with bands. And um, so I realized that it won't work uh, like this. And um, at the end of 2014, um, the destiny uh, brought me to uh, the internet and I saw Katsu Global was founded. I saw it was the first time that I could get these machines for only $8,000, <laughs> the former price, price of the Japanese uh, uh, devices with this big suitcase. Yes, these were, I, I think, 10 or 20,000. Um, and that was uh, out of my, my, my scope, um, not, not, not necessarily because of the financial thing. It, it was more because of, of, I wasn't to speak, uh, able to speak uh, Japanese, but um, my, my understanding of the Japanese Katsu website was that um, you have to, to do or pass a one year instructor certification in order to learn this method. So it was out of my reach. And um, this was, I think it was destiny to, to meet exactly when Katsu Global was founded in the end of 2014 that, I'm, that, that I discovered this. So I texted them, emailed them and no response. What? No response. The machines were, were in, in my reach. It was, I couldn't believe it. But fortunately, a few months later, I discovered that um, the founder, Stephen Müller Tonas, and, um, and uh, some colleagues of him visited Cologne, where I come from, at FIBO uh, Fitness Trade. That was one hour from me uh, away. And they had a small booth there and uh, very, very uh, covered <laughs> in the hall. And this, this was incredible. They, 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 they came to me, right into me. And uh, I uh, introduced to, to Stephen and I was very excited. I what, uh, wanted to help to spread Katsu. And this is now nine years ago. I'm still in this team. And it is such an honor to work with this team and help to spread Katsu. And um, it's more an honor it's, uh, that, that it developed more into an international journey. So that's why uh, I'm here. I have some customers that I can support in, in, uh, in the US and so, because um, as you know, Katsu is a very, uh, has very much a need for explanation. We can say definitely, it's not just the device that you buy and you're good to go. Um, that's unfortunately not the case. Um, you, you have to, ma many questions and that's why we're here. That's why we want to support you because it's not about own, only owning a device. Yes, that's, that's the first step. It's about to get the best result with advanced knowledge. That is what we're standing for internationally. We support each others and this is 
the excitement um, of this this journey to meet you all and uh, work together and see see the whole Katsu community grows. And what me what makes me most inside, uh, excited is to see your results. That is that is the most exciting. It doesn't matter if you are uh, if you if you are an Olympic champion or if you are my grandmother that helps you a little bit better to to keep your 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 daily business i would say so this is this is what what I, it makes so 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 exciting for me because i can assure you everyone at Katsu global wants to help other people and this is what makes me excited they really want to help and this is what makes give us the energy to work with you and uh, say, uh, say thank you chris again uh, that I um, I'm able to spread cards to, together with you uh, around the world. Thank you, Robert. That that was perfect. And um, I, I, just for those of you who are with us today, and those of you who will watch this video, you know it's been really neat. Uh, Robert and I, um, the 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 couple occasions, uh, once in um, in person in in Japan, and and we can talk about that later. But also in Germany, I know Robert and I went for. Uh, a lunch that ended up being three or four hours just talking about katsu and that's exactly it um and you actually sort of addressed one of my my one of my first questions that i wanted to ask you is um you know i i come from an olympic background as well and know that you've had some um not just a little bit but some some real impact with the german bobsled team for example and with their success and when you think about uh, bobsled, and and for those of you who don't know, um, I, I imagine Robert that they are athletes who are um, that th their performance is even more important because it's over such a small bit of time, even uh, milliseconds to nanoseconds uh, of power. And so, my question for you, and I apologize if it's a very abstract question, is how do you see Katsu helping? Uh, a power athlete like a bobsled uh not only driver but uh, I, I don't know the exact term but those that push the bobsled mm -hmm. to my mother who her sport is walking on a treadmill um so we saw that video and sort of the science but how do you feel practically it can help um those two different extreme athletes mm -hmm. So in general, let, let me uh, let me answer your question more in a general uh, way that it's more interesting for everyone. Let's 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 start with with uh, with, with athletes in general. I think the most benefit of Katsu for athletes in general is injury prevention. And this is why why is this injury pre prevention? Sorry, um, we know that. What holds us back from, from performing us at our best level? It is injury. Injury leads, leads us to uh, that we are not available for training. If we are injured, we cannot break records. If we are injured, we cannot train. If we are injured, we cannot compete. If we are injured, we have to do uh, an, uh, in, uh, not, not an optimal training. We cannot do the optimal program A. Instead, we must to switch to op the suboptimal program B. So uh, we're not available in training and, and we break records and so on. That's, that's, that is what holds us all back from being the best we could be. So that's, that's the problem. And why? The most common injuries for all athletes are overuse injuries because many athletes put more stress on the body that the body or the muscular skeletal system can handle that's the problem i don't talk about uh, impacts or so i don't I'm, I'm talking about overuse injuries that's that's the problem and the beauty of katsu is that i can achieve um high intensity effects with low loads that's what what what's the beauty uh, of katsu is and um, this is uh, this is what what's great and i don't know is it possible uh, to sh to share to share my screen with you i think uh, are you are you able to share 
I try. I try, and uh, maybe, uh, maybe yeah, I can yeah, we, show we, you something. Yeah, we can see uh, it better. Yeah, yeah, uh, nice, nice. Um, this is what one low load, high intensity effects. Can you see this? Yes, yes, yes. This is my my favorite picture when I introduce Katsu to anyone, because look at this sumo wrestler at the right. This maybe. He is 300 pounds or more, maybe three, I don't know. Uh, but look at his face and look at the weight he uses. <laughs> he uses the lightest weight possible. And look at his face. I mean, this says everything. You can, you can, you can see that what is Katsu in one picture? This is, this is one thing. And if you have a look on the left side, this is the other thing. Um, this exercise is called Shiko. It is the basic sumo wrestler's exercise. Every sumo wrestler is uh, doing this exercise after standing up at five o'clock in the morning. It's called Shiko. It's uh, the, the basic exercise for uh, uh, building strength and balance in the legs. And the beauty of Katsu is that it's not, not uh, only a... Uh, uh, strength training method that is what's mo most common yes it's called you can use katsu specifically to your needs so the athlete would use it for basic exercises for sport specific exercises like a swimmer can use it for swimming and your and my mom would use it on activities of daily or uh, daily activities so like uh, walking or a uh, 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 a stair climbing or riding the bike or skateboarding <laughs> whatever you want and this is the beauty and uh, i know that dr sato uh, of many many uh, japanese top athletes visited dr sato um, because they had injuries and they heard of this miraculous uh, recoveries of many 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 athletes and there are many case studies that they, they, they performed in an incredible comeback. And I can tell you uh, from my own experiences, I had, we had made uh, our own experiences. And if you don't mind, I will show you, um, I, will show, I would like to show you uh, some other um, or miraculous uh, experiences in my slides here. Um, for example, Two things. This guy we all know. It's uh, our Captain John Doolittle after a complete knee replacement. And the beauty of this uh, of this katsu is you can start in bed one or two or three days after surgery. He does right uh, on his arms because katsu has systemic effects. And now I show you something real impressive: katsu and wound healing. Look at this timeline and this incredibly fast wound healing after uh, two days, six days, 11 days, three weeks, or four weeks. After four weeks, this, uh, uh, this uh, surgery or wound healing is incredibly fast. And I remember the doctor was shocked to see this uh, accelerated, uh, accelerated recovery because he never has seen something before like that. Is this a single case? No, I have to present or I can present you my own case after a Achilles tendon rupture. Look at this um, uh, 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 timeline. This one was the first picture above uh, was made on uh, July the 3rd and 12 days later, <laughs> look at the picture, uh, uh, um, at the other picture. Um, incredibly fast and the same the doctors couldn't believe they think how did you manage this they i visited the doctor six weeks ago and he 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 thought it was three months ago so the the acceleration of of healing a wound healing is incredible and what i would like to add if you let me yes. uh, do we have to, the time do we have the time yes yes robert this yeah, is uh, perfect perfect uh, then I would like to show you um, another video of a biceps tendon rupture. And after only two, two, one or two months, 
um, uh, of, uh, of bobsleigh as lead, um, he, he could um, rejoin them. And I would, would like to, 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 to show you what the television um, uh, guys said about this. And I hope, uh, please give me the feedback if you can hear this video. Can you see it? Alexander yes, then we can hear it. First event of the year, Alexander Shula. Now, ah, can you, okay, can you hear it? Yes, yes. Gold medals on different German team fights. He tore his bicep up two months ago. Unbelievable, he had to go to rehab, then he got COVID. This is his picture, this is Swan Song. This is his last race of his career. What a workout athlete he is, eh? Yeah, that's an amazing comeback. You know, nobody even thought he'd be in the sled again, but to have him here and to push as well as he has, it's incredible. So, uh, did you hear the, the comments on it? Yes, yes, we did. Okay, yeah. uh, sure. So, it's, a, it's incredible. It works. You can do what you want. It works uh, on everyone. So, that's a, that is a great, great way. And um, um, what I would like to show you in addition, how they benefit, what, what they can do is here. Uh, they, they, these are really secret videos. I uh, usually don't present them uh, for, for the public, but I will make an exception for you. Great. This is the pilot, the most uh, successful pilot in bobsleigh history ever. He has won more Olympic and world, uh, world champion medals than anyone. He's one of the most powerful athletes in bob, bobsleigh or pilots in bobsleigh ever. And one thing they do in training is um, sprinting. And you see that uh, he prepare how he, he prepares his um, sprinting uh, exercises. And um, he starts with very light exercises, katsu bands on. Then he disconnects. What you saw was the, the katsu master, the uh, first katsu master from katsu global. Uh, he likes this uh, old machine very much. And then he disconnects and does his, uh, does his uh, uh, jumps first with katsu bands and the more high intensity bands, uh, jumps, sorry, he uh, does without the band. So it's incredible uh, um, benefits for, um, for explosive uh, strengths. And now I would like to share a secret. What made the Bob team, bobsled team so successful? Because we replaced uh, the, norm, uh, the uh, traditional strength training during the season uh, through Katsu. And this video shows what they did before Katsu, they had Katsu. They had to, 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 uh, to walk into the basement, parking basement, and uh, train with heavy resistance in the cold to maintain physical qualities during the World Cup where they made uh, much, much traveling. And now they stay in the hotel, do their 20 minutes Katsu workout, and you see their faces. And after 20 minutes, they finish and can go <laughs> back to on their bed and recover. So the, the really advantage was to replace during season where the body has stress, is, is stressed uh, through uh, traveling, because traveling stresses the body um, more than you uh, might expect. And now Katsu helps not to put too much stress on the body, and and um, uh, uh, and support recovery and the other training you you see I repeat this this training normally if you do only sleep eat and train is good but if you travel is it's cold and you fly around the globe and uh, then the, this uh, this training might be ineffective or contraproductive so it might be be uh, 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 not to help to, to grow, to get better. And Katsu, here comes Katsu into play. It doesn't stress the body too much, but it helps the recovery. And this is, this is the cool thing about Katsu that we can have the data that help them to break the records, to win the Olympic medal again. And you can, I, I share another secret, these are the oldest athletes in the fields. So their challenge is to hold back the younger competitors because um, uh, you, the more younger you are, the more explosive you are. So the, another um, Katsu success stories in other, um, in other uh, sports is that Katsu helped 
to extend the career of many top athletes like Bodhi Miller, Noriaki Kazai, a very uh, famous ski jumper. And there we have plenty of case studies. And uh, I think, um, uh, what was the name of the sprinter um, we had in, in Japan? Uh, yes, Justin Gatlin. Yeah, of course. Sorry, for <laughs> forget Justin Gatlin, one of the oldest uh, successful sprinters in uh, sprinting history. So that's that's really the beauty uh, of Katsu that uh, can can help uh, even elder elderly um, or elder sprinters or elder athletes to extend their their career. Um, so um, that's uh, what I uh, wanted to share with you. And uh, I hope I can uh, come back now. Um, yes, it's, yeah. So I hope that was not too, too long. Oh, it was uh, e excellent, Robert. And, and what I'd like to ask you is, um, and, and even for me, that was exciting because I haven't seen some of those, those videos and um, had the pleasure to, you know, um, have some electronic conversations with Francesco Friedrich, who's the, the driver of the bobsled and you saw him carrying this old you know and now um you know the privilege of uh we have yeah. our c4 robert um that that the same technology in this size so when when i've spoken to you even about my my mother who's 78 and i call her my my mother athlete um and she's gone from because she she's 78 um you know driving for her she still drives but thinking of driving to the gym lifting heavy weights is, is not something. So my brothers and I, we, we chipped in and, and got her a, a treadmill several years ago that she has in her garage. But what she really enjoys now, and she would go on it and she would walk, but she just didn't feel like um, she wasn't getting that uh, sort of exercise, um, exercise endorphin. And once we taught her to do the katsu walking with the katsu bands on, and she even just does the cycle on her arms, and still feels. So uh, sort of, I just thought of a question for you and I, I apologize for not um, previewing this question with you, but can you explain, you, you talked about the systemic effect. So could any of our watchers today have a benefit from walking, but even having the katsu bands on their arms in the cycle mode and, and just maybe a, a, a general, uh, the, the, the science behind that, how you could have benefit from, um, having the armbands on, but, but walking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, interestingly, I recently experimented myself with walking with armbands on because I was motivated by some guys uh, that come from the cross-country skiing world. Um, and um, um, so they need very much um, uh, stamina and, or endurance in the arms. And I, I hadn't those sticks for me to, to work. So I, I, uh, I simply, um, uh, I simply done the, the movements they did with cross cutting without any. And I can tell you, boy, uh, this was a completely different feeling and effect like having the, the bands on the legs while walking. And um, the, in Germany, the one, there is one, sport very popular it's called nordic walking which means uh, it's done by very elderly uh, persons they walk but with cross country st is, uh, uh, sticks on their arms it's very good because they because they are not able to run but um, with the additional work with the sticks for the upper body gets uh, additional demands for the for the muscles and for the cardiovascular system so it's a very, uh, very, uh, very recommended. Um, uh, and this is the beauty of cards. So again, you get high intensity effects with low loads. So you can walk slowly, but get the, the but the uh, the metabolics of your of your body works like high intensity sprinting or training, huh? like you would walk in a higher pace or like you would walk or like like you would run. And I discovered it feels different if you if you have them on the arms. Um, so it 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 might make make sense to 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 do it on the arms. But what I really recommend is to to mimic 
uh, like you have sticks. So not just walking with hanging arms. So, so, so I, I recommend to do very vigorous uh, arm walking uh, swings. That is very important if you would get the benefits and you would, would feel that it feels different. I have sometimes the, the, the feeling it's more intense like on the, on the legs. Um, there are some explanations because they are the density of the cardiovascular nerves are, are higher in the upper region and the di uh, distance to the, to the centers are shorter. That might be in explanations, but we would need some data on it. There is no data on it. I think uh, no, there's no, no uh, captured any data, but it's, it's possible. And the beauty for your users now is I would like to point out uh, uh, another another thing, and it, this is during our nine years of Katsu Global, we managed to trickle down Katsu to a uh, end user suitable level. So if, if you remember, the start of Katsu was very, I would say, complicated. Yeah, it was not not <laughs> for the end user. And what Katsu Global uh, achieved is shrinking down the machines. And the other huge step is to make it easy to use by some clicks, safe and easy, and the switch from Katsu Constant to Katsu Cycle as our main modality of training. This was the a quantum leap to make it easier to use for the average user. You know how complicated it was to determine optimal pressure. Yeah, you know how uh, I would say super intensive it was to train with uh, constant uh, pressure. Yeah, and we used cycle mode only as a warm up. I remember, and now cycle mode is for us all. I would say ninety percent of the the preferred mode training mode. I, I know no one, I, I, what's up with you, it's for me, I use 90% cycle mode. That's, that's, that's a game, was a game changer. So it's so easy to use and safe just to click low, medium, or sometimes very rarely high, but the most users, average user is good with low and high to have these wonderful um, progress, progressive modes that makes it very convenient to use and to play with the custom, to increase the cycles, to play with uh, rest and pressures and so on. So it's 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 another uh, it's another word. So I, I I'm I'm really I'm really uh, uh, happy with this, um, and I think we have reached the the top of uh, usability. <laughs> I would say. You cannot make e Katsu easier. That's not possible. That's, it's, it's impossible. The, the other challenge is now to give our users the best uh, advice and knowledge and support and service uh, that, they, that we can help them to achieve the best results possible. Excellent. Yeah, I know, Robert, that um, one of the not the challenges we have, but one of the daily um, discussions we have with Katsu users is, what should I do? Um, you know, they, they start to understand the equipment, they, they understand the importance of the cycle mode with pressure on, pressure off. But um, my question for you also as a sports scientist, certainly I um, take my hat off to you with your, your level of intelligence in this field. But what I tell people is, is really it's, it's um, and, and taking the cat, catchphrase from Dr. Sato, which is it's, simp it's profoundly simple and simply profound, is really, um, and to hijack a, a term from our, our founder, Stephen Munatonas, you really, you can stack it onto what you do. So with my mother, she liked to walk on her treadmill. We simply taught her how to use the cycle mode and she added it um, to her routine of, of, um, of walking on the treadmill. And now what's happened is now she has more energy. She's been several years now using Katsu. So she has more energy. She's lost weight. Um, she feels uh, more alert. Um, so her psychological health has been better. 
And so what that does is it makes her want to do more things. So it's sort of a snowball effect of helping her with her, her overall health and wellness. So my question for you, which is more of a statement than a question, is for our users, like you said, it's just adding katsu to what you already do. It's a safe modality, um, but we're always here to answer. You know, and, and, and it sounds silly. Sometimes I have people, they'll say, oh, um, I was doing three three sets and I, I was interrupted after two sets. Um, does it mean that I didn't get the benefit of the two sets? I said, no, you got all the benefits and what we're now learning, and, 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 and maybe because I saw in the introductory video of Dr. Sato, there are benefits even up to one hour after doing katsu. Um, so, so is that something that's good that we could um, even... Uh, do a katsu cycle and then go out and, and go for a walk and, and have benefits uh, fr from katsu? I guess the answer is yes. No, of course. Um, and I think um, what every user uh, must be aware that success is based on um, consistency. So um, uh, the uh, profound and sustainable uh, 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 success, uh, you have to be consistent. That's, that's, that's the major uh, thing. And I would like to talk uh, some about some misconception in this, in this uh, case, because it's not more is doing better or harder is doing better. It's in a regular basis for long term. So I know we live in a world that uh, uh, everything gives us immediately as a, the world of uh, instant gratification. But uh, I think because the most of your users are in the elderly part, they know that it takes long, hard work to get benefits. It doesn't make, uh, uh, it doesn't, uh, I doesn't say that you get it very quick, very quick with Katsu, the first uh, um, uh, improvements. But at the end, it's all about consistency all about consistency, do, do it in a, a regular basis. And consistency means that I don't think, I don't think in the range of now and the session, then it doesn't matter of if I do one set or two sets, I think in the range of months, weeks or years. And if I, I summarize, for example, in uh, the session uh, data of the B2, I can see a training log, a diary, and it tells me, gives me information. Did I, did how long did I use it? For, uh, for what time, period of time I did use it? And it gives me information about uh, specific habits. And if I did train uh, uh, on a regular basis for a long period of time. And that's what we uh, were seeking about. We're seeking about consistency and bring it, uh, uh, bring a, uh, change in our daily habits that's the problem that's maybe the challenge for for many people um, the change of habits of healthy habits and i think it cannot be easier like katsu because uh walk everyone knows that walking is the simplest way to maintain health even without katsu we can't, with, with katsu can boost it in another level but everybody knows that walking is the simplest way to ma ma maintain health. And if I give you a, a specific advice, it is even more effective if you do your walking, if, if, it pos if it's possible, in nature. That's, that's, if you have a wood or nature, wherever you are, do it in nature. This additional effects on the mind of calming down the mind is incredible. Yeah. Um, so and this is this is uh, what what you need. So um, in the in the first um, in the first step, you would there is no secrets. If you would continue the um, basic exercise, the three point exercise for the for the for the uh, uh, arms and for the for the walking for the legs, if you would do that on a consistent basis, that's fine enough. And if you would add daddy's old uh, or granddaddy's old calisthenics exercises with this and then everybody there's no secret perfect for the average joe 
it's it's fine. And the next level would be that, uh, like you said, uh, more advanced users or the younger ones, uh, and even professionals, I found they have a need for exercise programs. I would say, in for the average average users, the demand is more to have um, something different for your mind, but it's it wouldn't be not necessary for the professional users. They don't have the time to be creative with Katsu. I, I found, and even professional users, physiotherapists and and uh, doctors and uh, personal trainers, they want or seek. For exercise programs, and this is what we are, what I'm doing in Germany. Uh, I have um, some uh, premium packages, and I offered a standard package, like like everybody gets the device, some some quick start manuals, and that's it. And then I have premium packages that give uh, users uh, exercise progressions, exercise programs that lasts for three to five years for strength training, uh, for fitness, for endurance, or for rehab. That's our premium packages, additional values, and that's what they need. And so it's interesting that even in the professional world, they are so, if they are very successful on a daily basis, you have no time <laughs> to, to learn or to, to, to develop programs. So here I thought, how can I help? And I found the slack of time um, um, doesn't allow them to, to be creative in programming uh, plans with Katsu and integrate them into, let's say, a rehab routine and uh, a training routine or a fitness routine. So I developed them a pre programmed, pro or I provide pre programmed programs, sorry for this, for this wording. Um, and they are happy. And I can say after, after purchasing this, there are zero questions. And I'm quite happy with this because the success of this program depend, is exactly the goal, the zero questions. This is another case. If you have uh, health issues, like many users have, then you need your consultations with your doctors. And I'm really happy to see that um, the Q&A seminar is so successful because Katsu Global is doing everything it can to uh, replace the doctors <laughs> online, but it is not possible. So it would be better to um, teach more physiotherapists and doctors because then your users can visit them and they can work face to face because we all know um, uh, the video calls have its limit. Everyone should be aware uh, of this. It cannot replace uh, uh, educated uh, uh, doctor or physiotherapist uh, uh, that are trained with, familiar with Katsu. So I think um, this is our strategy um, for the future to uh, teach more um, doctors and physiotherapists that you can visit them locally. And this would be, I think, uh, the, the most important goal to, to give uh, the users the best results. Wow, Robert, um, this has been excellent. Um, I have one more question if you have a little bit more time. Sure. Uh, and again, appreciate all of your, your answers. And just for everyone who is, um, who stayed with us today, I really appreciate it. And, and as you watch this video, because uh, usually Stephen and I, we, we sort of tend to uh, repeat the same thing every Tuesday and Thursday. So this has been a real treat. Um, so looking to the future and, and as people more and more are exposed to this, um, this modality katsu, which has been sometimes confused or, or even compared to more of a general uh, blood flow restriction that's out on the market, which um, uh, could have some benefits. You know, I'm not here to to, to say that, uh, that that the other competitors that we have are not right. But thinking only about Katsu, how do you see um, uh, those that are using Katsu um, uh, 
how do I word this question? How do you see them uh, improving your li their lives? And I think you've already answered it, but just to sort of put a, a general um, uh, answer to it, um, do you see, see, see them uh, more on just having something to do or actually improving their, 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 their lifespan and health span with Katsu? Yeah, of course. Um, what we all want is uh, a better health. And um, what we seek is um, for the best or most efficient uh, uh, methods. And this is uh, what Katsu um, provides. Uh, it provides a very efficient um, way of uh, improving our health in a, a fraction of time of, of no normal exercise without putting too much uh, stress on the body. And um, this is what many of us are face, facing with, especially when we are getting older. And the more we're getting older, ah, we have, everyone has health, health issues. Uh, at the beginning, they are smaller and they, be, they are becoming with increasing age uh, more serious. That's unavoidable. Uh, that's, that's a part of life. It's more, maybe a little bit more philosophical. Uh, but um, you can you can you can make your life I would say more with energy. Think about energy and quality of life. Quality and energy is is the absence of health issues or pain and energy. That's 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 the that's the opposite is uh, getting older. So you can I would say delay the effects or in some some uh, some uh, cases, uh, I, I try. I struggle if if I can say reverse. I say delay, because um, otherwise it's uh, reverse. It's not possible. But the delay and uh, the more uh, free from any health issues you are, the better the quality of your life. I think uh, that's uh, quite obvious. Excellent. No, I think. Uh... I think, and I think Robert, that you and I, you know, we've we've seen firsthand, um, and though for our listeners it might sound a little anecdotal, we've had the pleasure to meet Dr. Sato, who has been the the, the human being, and I actually am just thinking of this now, how he is the longest uh, user human being of, of Katsu, and when we look at him and we look at his um, his physical health, his physiological health, and even his psychological health. Uh, we really see um, uh, somebody who is uh, who who is a living example of what um, this slowing down, as you said, and not reversing. Though sometimes I think he actually has reversed his. Uh, he does um, he does dye his hair, and we 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 tell people that that he does he dyes the grays. I think I should do that as well. But I um, I think, and we both met him firsthand and seen this uh, this just incredible. Um, uh, healthy um, person. And, and uh, uh, sorry I of, uh, that I interrupt you, uh, Chris. No um, but I'm sure you remember his wife, and I think we talked about her. And I should what what she's forty, isn't isn't she? Uh, no, she she was I, I don't know she was sixty five or I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, she looked twenty at least twenty years younger, and I said, "What? Yeah. How is this possible?" And what I realized is that she frequently did did this um, isometric exercises. Uh, we 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 have a talk, we had tea, we had uh, we we got it, and all all um, all the time she did uh, some uh, <laughs> some isometric exercises, and I remembered she also use the manual straps of, of, of uh, original Katsu band because of course she is a master instructor and she know how to use this. And I was really impressed uh, of, of this. Um, and this was a perfect example that um, frequency and consistency is king, not intensity. So every time I do Katsu a little too much because Katsu feels so gentle, and then you think it cannot work. But that's the the ma major. You you're wrong. That's if you think or if you feel 
that Katsu feels like nothing, I would say, then you're wrong because Katsu is gentle. That's, that's uh, one, one, another benefit, maybe, I would say, that is so gentle that you cannot believe that it is, has any effect. But you can believe me, after nine years, even of Katsu, I have the tendency also to do sometimes a little too much in terms of intensity, but I always, because my, my body awareness, I would say it's very good. So I feel, no, that was too much. And I cannot overestimate the benefit of low and medium cycles. So if you want to progress, I give you some secret, secret advice. First, do more cycles or sets. Or then do use extended cycles or use the custom mode and progress from 30, let's say, to 40 seconds and do 10 seconds uh, no, uh, dec uh, decompression or no pressure. That's, 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 that's my advice for you. No, not the higher pressures are the better, uh, the more time under pressure is better. In summary, I would say. So at, at the end of the week, you can count in this uh, diary uh, uh, how many sessions I did, did I did it frequently enough, that is what what you what what really counts. Um, do do a focus on the long run, on the long term. Not did I now uh, enough? That's that's not 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 interesting. If you make your homework, it's not today. It's at the end of the month. It's at the end of the year, two years, three years, and so on. Always focus the long term. Excellent, Robert. This has been an incredible pleasure. Um, I think um, what we're going to do is wrap it up here because we're at about an hour, taking everyone's time, including your own. Robert's about well six hours ahead of me, so uh, coming in today from us from Germany. Uh, excited to put this video up on our website, on our YouTube channel, and again, oh, we'll do it here. This is Robert's book, Katsu: The Pressure Training from Japan. Um, always a pleasure, Robert, uh, super excited on Thursday. We'll be back talking more about just the practical, how to use the B2. Um, we, we try every time, but I think today was a special treat to spend more time talking about Katsu rather than about how to use the equipment. Here is our B2, which Robert was talking about, which you can customize. We also soon, Robert, you as well, we'll get your hands on the C4 which is the next evolution of what a lot of our users have, the C3. And again, the C stands for cycle. That's our most important, um, really our most important piece of how we can help everyone with their performance, their rehabilitation and their recovery. So we've been about an hour, Robert. I appreciate it. I'll be reaching out to you. You can also find this video. And um, thank you for sharing your little secrets. And if anyone does have any questions and even something, I'm sure um, I can convince Robert to answer any questions via email. If you just email us at info at katsu.com, we'll get those questions to Robert. And uh, I think we'll wrap it up here, Robert. Joe, sure, thank you for having me. Again, oh, it was a pleasure uh, to talk to you and uh, uh, maybe give some uh, valuable info to your users and uh, if you have questions email us and we are happy to help thank you again everyone we'll see you soon bye bye, bye.